All right, here we have the Troy belt again. A little more in-depth video. Obviously the chute. Up right in here is the spark plug, right there. And we'll go around here. And we have the primer. That's three to five pumps is what they say in the instructions. Here we have the, the key, which is not a real key. It doesn't turn or anything like that. But out where it's at now is off and in is on. And then we have the choke right here, which is full choke, choke off. And it's kind of an auto, auto throttle thing. So, not the biggest fan of that, as I've mentioned previously. Anyways, here's where you put your gas. Here's your dipstick for checking your oil. And then we have the starter, which I've previously showed you, just one button. Plug in your extension cord, press that button. Or we have the recoil start, which works just as well. And now we'll get to the controls. This engages your auger. Here is the, this operates the pitch of your chute. This right here is your gear selector. It's in forward one right now and it's got six forward gears and two reverse gears. And here is where you engage your drive. Also one last thing, we have the other chute control, which lets you move this thing around. Nice and smooth. And also we've got two extra shear pins right here, which you'll need. So you might as well just buy a bunch of extras right now. Here we've got the auger. It's got a serrated auger. And there are four independent ones, which is actually pretty cool I don't mind it each one has its own its own shear pin so there's four of them and like I said it's serrated I'm really looking forward to when we get a heavy dump seeing how this does compared to our last snow blower which is basically dead and there's your inner stage right there the actual propeller that launches the snow and a quick pro tip is to, when you're done using this and it's off and it's safe to get in here, uh, make sure that there's no snow built up in the bottom of, of the second stage because sometimes it'll melt and turn into a big block of ice. And then when you go to use it the next time, it'll be frozen. Your impeller will either not spin at all or spin and hit that block of ice and usually stall out and kill the engine or break a belt, which neither is a good thing anyways all right so we've already got this thing primed and we're gonna plug our extension cord right into here we've got the choke on